Good morning, saints. On this morning, we want to share with you Kefel, who speaks into your life. Not everybody is qualified to be speaking into your life when it comes to the things of God. Be aware of false teachers. We're continuing from yesterday. I believe this is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Come on and worship with me this moment. You have won the victory. Come on, somebody, help me worship him. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Glory to God. You're seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on and sing it. Sing hallelujah. Lift your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are the risen King. Seated, you seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on and sing it to him, church. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Mighty God, you have won it all for me. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith together. And we pray for your people this morning. We pray that they would take heed to the word of God. We pray that you would guard them, protect them, keep their faith pure, keep their minds pure and free from deception. Don't allow them to be contaminated by false teachers and false prophets and false apostles, false pastors, God. Don't allow the messengers of Satan to deceive your people and to des destroy the faith that was passed on to us from our fathers, God. Minister to your people. Strengthen them, encourage them, and warn them because we are living in the last days. And your word says Satan has come down with great wrath because he knows that he have a short time. Don't allow your people to be deceived. Keep them pure, Lord. Keep them free from deception. Let the word of God come alive to them. Use the word of God to get them grounded in their faith. Use the word of God to educate them, to teach them, to equip them, to renew their minds so that they would be able to discern and distinguish the difference between true teaching, genuine words that's coming from the Lord, and the false. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Good morning to you, saints. We are continuing from yesterday and on this morning. We are talking about careful who speaks into your life. Not Listen, you know, we, we have social media, and I thank God for social media. We use it. We use social media to get, get the gospel out there into the world. But what we are trying to help you understand is not everybody that on social media is genuine. Not all of them are real. You got some fake and you got the false. Are you listening to me? 
who will say anything will just tell you what you want to hear. They will not tell you the truth. And this, this is who Jude was warning God's people about. He was warning them about false teachers. Are you hearing me? Jude is continuing, and he said, When these people eat with you in your fellowship meals, commemorating the Lord's love, they are like dangerous reefs that can shipwreck you. A reef is like a big, huge rock out there in the ocean. Sometimes it's covered up by water, but the water is actually not that high over that it's, it's a huge rock. I'm from the Bahamas. I mean, you can run into them and kill yourself. Those men, those men who go out there in the boat and the fishermen, they knew where all the reefs were, and they knew how to skirt around them. And if someone ever run into a reef, it just they would shipwreck. It would destroy their boat. And you got to be careful, because with a reef, some not all of them can be seen. You see, it just looks like that's just nice pure water. You go speeding, and bam, you run right into one of them. So some of these people, they, on the surface, they look genuine. But when you get down deeper, you start realizing, when you, when you start realizing, ah, what they saying does not line up with Scripture. It's false. It's not right. It's not correct. Well, you better run because the Word of God is never wrong. Psalm chapter 33, verse 4 says, For the word of the Lord is right. Jesus said in Luke 4, 4, Matthew 4, 4, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 says, Every word of God is pure. Psalms 119, 105, That word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Watch this. So Jude said, When these people eat with you in your fellowship meals, commemorating the Lord's love, they are like dangerous reefs that can shipwreck you. Listening to a false teacher can destroy your relationship with Jesus. Listening to a false teacher can shipwreck your life. They are like shameless shepherds who care only for themselves. That's how you know a false teacher. It's all about them. They are wrapped up in themselves. They are not interested in making disciples. All they are about is their own selves. They are like clouds blowing over the land without giving any rain. They're empty. They're dead. They're lifeless. That's what Jesus said about the Pharisees. He said, you guys are open supplicants. You are full of dead man's bones. You're empty. You're dry. There's no anointing. There's no presence of God. Nobody is refreshed. When you speak, there's just death in your atmosphere. Jude said, they're like clouds blowing over the land without giving any rain. They're like trees in autumn that are doubly dead, for they bear no fruit and have been pulled up by the roots. Jesus said, by their fruits you shall know them. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples because of the love you have one for another. Are you hearing me? False teachers, they have a lot to say but say nothing. They have a lot to say but they are very deceptive. They have a lot to say but they are dangerous. Are you listening to me? They are like wild waves of the sea churning up the foam of their shameful deeds. They are like wandering stars, dome forever to blackest darkness. Enoch, who lived in the seventh generation after Adam, prophesied about these people. He said, listen, the Lord is coming with countless thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on the people of the world. He will convict every person of all the ungodly things they have done and for all the insults that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Oh, there's a whole lot of people. Trolls. They, they want to come on your online service and take it over. They want to come and make their nasty, demonic, diabolical comments underneath your videos. I mean, they are everywhere. They think they are, they think they, they think they know more than every pastor in the body of Christ. And they're ready to challenge. They're ready to argue. They're ready to almost, almost get in a fight to try to act as though they know more than everybody else. Dangerous people. But guess what? Jude said, Jesus is going to judge those people. That day of judgment is coming. Listen, these people, it's getting serious now, verse 16, these false teachers, these people are grumblers and complainers. Everybody else in the body of Christ is wrong except them. Grumblers 
and complainers. They're always grumbling, always complaining. They murmur just like the folks did with Moses when he was bringing them from out of Egypt. Living only to satisfy their desires. Sleeping with women in the church, they no good. They are no good. These men are demonic, committing fornication, committing adultery, leading people astray, committing, committing all type of sexual sins and all type of thievery and all kind of things that you can think about and things you don't even want to think about. They are involved in it. Grumblers, complainers, living only to satisfy their desires. They brag loudly about themselves and they flatter others to get what they want. If anybody gets healed in our ministry, it's the Lord Jesus Christ. If we pray for people and people fall down on the ground underneath the power of the Holy Ghost, it's not Pastor Sean, it's not Pastor Amy, it's the power of the Holy Ghost. In and of ourselves, we are nothing. The Apostle Paul said, it's not I, but Christ who lives, who lives in me and the life that I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. If we preach under the anointing of God and you get blessed, it's not Pastor Sean, it's the Holy Ghost. It's the Lord Jesus anointing me with his Holy Ghost. We can't take credit. We can't take glory. Uh uh. The glory belongs to God. He will not share his glory with no man. Can't no flesh glory in his presence. If somebody is healed, it's the work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost doing it. If someone's delivered, it's the work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I laugh when I hear people saying, oh, boy, I laid hands and this happened. It ain't you. It's the Holy Ghost. Get out of the way. The quickest way to lose the anointing is to start touching and taking credit as though it's you. It's not you. Are you listening to me? It's the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Acts 1-8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on. You, you, you are nothing without Jesus. He told the apostles, apart from me, you can do nothing. It's the Holy Ghost. Even Jesus said that the Spirit of the Lord is on me, Luke 4, 18, because he has anointed me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel. It's him. Jesus said, the works that I do, it's not me, but it's, the, it's my Father that's working through me. Come on, somebody. These people are grumblers and complainers living only to satisfy their own desires. They brag loudly about themselves and they flatter others to get what they want. But you, my dear friends, must remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ predicted. They told you that in the last times, in the last days, there would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. These people are the ones who are creating divisions among you. They come into a church and they divide and conquer. They begin to split the local church up. They'll turn people against the pastor. They're like David's son, whose name was Absalom, who began to, who, who was talking with people privately and telling them, oh, if my dad, if, if I was the king, I would have done, done a better job than my dad. I would do this. I would do that. Oh, yes, they would come into your ministry. They want to tell you how to do everything. That, that's not the way we do it. We, 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 we used to do it this way. Well, I can care less how you did it. I'm doing it the way the Holy Ghost called me and passed Amy to do it. You don't like it? Just find you another church. It's real simple. Amen. It ain't complicated at all. Amen. But I tell you what, we're going to follow the Holy Spirit. And, you know, these folk, they want to come in and, and take over other people's ministries. That's not how the Holy Ghost works. Submit yourselves to those who have the authority over you. If you know you have a good pastor, submit, learn, come on. Don't just come in and try to take over. And if you knew, well, then you just got to learn what the protocol for that ministry is. Every ministry operates according to the way the Holy Spirit called them to operate and do things. Are you listening to me? Yeah, it's tight, but it's going to be all right. We, we, we telling the truth. Come on. Careful who speaks into your life. And they want people's ears. And I'm nervous about anybody who come around anyone's ministry and want to be prophesying over people privately and want to be calling and prophesying and doing these things behind the pastor's back. That's called rebellion. Look, if you let people prophesy, if you just have people prophesying, prophesying to you away from church and stuff like that, you better be careful, saints. 
you, you can be deceived. You can be led astray. People can prophesy over you. How, do you. how do you even know they're hearing from God? Or did you compare what they say to you with the scriptures? And in fact, if they were submitted, they wouldn't even be running around trying to do their own thing. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I think the Holy Ghost is trying to help somebody here today. They can't wait to get you all there in the parking lot, right? Let's keep it moving. So Jude said, they told you that in the last days there would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. These people are the ones who are creating divisions among you. They follow their natural instincts because they do not have God's spirit in them. But you, their friends, must build each other up in your most holy faith. Pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the King James says, but you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in other tongues, when you pray in the Spirit of God, it builds your spirit up. It builds you up. You edify yourself. The Apostle Paul says it in 1 Corinthians 14. He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto God. And Paul said, he that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. Jude said, and await the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will bring you eternal life. In this way, you will keep yourself safe in God's love, and you must show mercy to those whose faith is wavering. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Be a soul winner. Tell somebody about Jesus. There's a big difference between the false and the true. The Bible says a true witness wins souls. He that wins souls is wise. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. The genuine teachers are winning people to Christ. The genuine people are snatching people from out of the flames, helping people not go to hell. Hell, helping lead them to Christ, helping them develop their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, helping bring them into the presence of God, helping them to fall more in love with Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, helping them to fall in love with the Word of God, helping them to understand the Scriptures, how to live a holy life. Glory to God. Somebody help me worship him. Praise God. My, my, my. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Show mercy still to others. But do so with great caution, hating the sins that contaminate their lives. Now all glory to God who is able to keep you from falling away and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. Glory to God. Jude say, be aware of false teachers. You got to be careful. Be careful who wants to be in your air. Every chance they get away from their pastor, they want to be prophesying something to you. That's dangerous, saints. If your pastor is preaching and teaching the word of the living God and bringing you into the presence of God and pouring his life out following the call of God and trying to equip you and disciple you. What else are you looking for? The devil will always try to make you think there's something else out there. I'm after Jesus. I'm in love with Jesus. Oh, no, we haven't arrived. We don't have it all. No, Jesus have it all. But I'm just trying to help God's people. We are living in the last days. Be careful who's speaking to your life. Be careful who's prophesying to you away from church and away from the authority of your pastor, and they're not even a recognized person in the body of Christ. Be careful, saints. And why is Pastor Sean talking like this and teaching like this? Because I love you. We care about you. We want to present you to Jesus without spot and without wrinkle because he's coming again. Oh, some will lift your hands to heaven. Somebody type below this video, Jesus is coming again. And we need to be careful who speak into our lives. To give in this offering, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry app. Many of you have downloaded the ministry app on your smartphones and your devices. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder.net ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. 
the ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. Main Pastor Amy, we love you. We care about you. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you subscribe, make sure you click on your notifications and turn it on. That way you'll receive our daily morning prayer broadcast every day. Any other platform you're watching us through, make sure follow our ministry so you will not miss any of the daily morning prayer broadcasts. We love you. God bless you. And we continue this series. We'll see you again on tomorrow. God bless.